Greetings, my fellow knights. Welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where we are diving into our first testing for Roaming Throne. 4-4 four, four, for 4 artifact creature Golem with Ward 2. And as Roaming Throne enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. We've seen this before on, on several creatures, obviously artifacts, because they can go in any deck. Then Roaming Throne is the chosen creature type in addition to its other types. If a triggered ability of another creature you control of the chosen trigger uh, type triggers, it triggers an additional time. So this, the important thing about this is it kind of has the Elish Norn effect of doubling ETBs as long as it's a creature that fits the type, but it also does their triggered abilities. So we're going to capitalize on all parts of the Buffalo with Roaming Throne in this very expensive dinosaur list. We are running all the big boys with our smallest dinosaur being Toperi Stomper, which has an ETB effect, which will double up thanks to Throne. We have Trumpeting Carnosaur, which has enters the battlefield, Discover 5, which will trigger twice, which is super sweet. Hulking Raptor will also trigger twice, giving us four additional mana on our pre-combat main phase instead of just two. Bone Horde Dracosaur will exile four cards, giving us the ability to create bunch of treasure and three one dinosaurs Atali primal conquer will also trigger twice drawing laying us play four cards but the glue that puts this all together is gisath sun's avatar for a whopping eight mana in naya you get a seven six with vigilance trample and haste whenever gisath sun's avatar deals combat damage to a player Reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So getting to this sweet behemoth here will allow us to plow into our opponent, hopefully with at least one roaming thrown in play, maybe more, and then put in a ridiculous amount of firepower that will synergize because Atali will cast a card and Trumpeting Carnosaur will cast a card while Stomper puts more lands into play. So you can see where this gets out of hand very quickly. Because I've chosen to kind of focus more on the top end and a combo, so to speak, we are running very little early game with two invasions of Gobakan to kind of make sure to clear the way for Roaming Throne and Gisath, as well as giving us a little bit of board wipe protection. We do need some removal because there's all kinds of powerful creatures in the format. So we are running four ossifications with uh, a little shy on the untapped lands or basic lands, only eight. But we are running four stompers, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. And then I put in one Green Sun Zenith or a Green Sun Twilight. Just that way, once we get our mana, if we have a preposterous amount of mana from Raptor, or Stomper or both with Throne in play, and we kind of are waiting to hit. It allows us to dig deeper into our deck and potentially cheat out an Atali and a Gisath early because you only need X to be five to be able to cast any creature card from the top and put it into play. So that is the deck, my friends. I hope you guys enjoy it. Shout out for this video it goes out to Jimmy Van Drunen. Jimmy, thank you so much for writing the struggle bus with us. I really do appreciate you. You rock. And this dinosaur doubling list is for you, my friend. All right, we're going first. Missing our second red. Other than that, I think we can keep this one. Clear the way with... Uh, we can go Raptor into Invasion plus Throne. I think I like that. Well, shoot. Hold on. Seeing red here. I guess we might as well fire this off now. Not my preferred thing to do, but if we can potentially take something completely out of the map, why not, right? He left on top. That's a little scary. Let's see if we can hit their creature. Uh, Yeah, I guess we just hit Godric. Because these are redundant. So them playing one on two seems good to me. And then we go Raptor. Nice. I like that. So we'll go Raptor and then we can roam because we're still missing. So I, I definitely think we Raptor. I think that's a given. 
We still have a safe turn. Oh, boy. All right, well, we need to get something on the board. So let's play Raptor. Mana base kind of hurting us a little bit here. So the two are face. Yep. And then we have a chance of flipping the con if we need to, playing roaming. And we're not really punished too much. I think we, hmm. I think it's worth the block. Force them to have it and we still kill that. They pay the one, they follow it up. But then we, yeah, okay. And they play that as a three. Let's go here and play Roaming Throne. Picking Dinosaur. So the problem is, is if they draw the land, right? If they draw the land, they get to play Godric. That's a problem because he's a 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There we go. Nicely done, opponent. Nicely done. No blocks. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Attack here. They let us hit that. Oh, they don't. Okay. That's impressive. Alright. Let's go here. We have at least one blocker. And let's get... We have a mountain in hand. And play that. And player at tap land. All right. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, that was a pat. That was, ooh, that was really good for us. Oh, that was off the top. Wow, talk about a top deck. Yep, let's do it. This is our only chance. Go to combat, attack here. Gotta draw big. Gotta draw big here. Uh, let's go Atali and... Oh. That was a big draw. I'll give you that. Do we get a dragon? Come on, we need the dragon. We did get the dragon. Ooh, that helped. That dragon was huge. Here. And... Oof. Talk about a top deck. All right, let's give this one a go. Uh, yeah, start off here. Let's get all our colors. And then we probably... Ooh, that's actually nice. Let's go ahead and slow them down a little bit. See what we're working with here. And double squee. So let's make the adversary I think just taking the adversary out of the equation right then they don't have a two drop they could start getting in damage we can go here to play stomper that will line us up with the throne right deals three so we don't want to play our raptors Let's go here and grab our second red source. So they get their free lick in with Squee. Let's 
So the question is, do we... The question is, do we block the 1-1 one -one and strand the other Squee? Or do we go kill Squee Squee? Right? And I say that, I mean with the throne. They're, get, they're gonna get in this attack. If we play the Raptor, then we automatically, right? Now, this all changes if we get a land off the top. We get an untapped land off the top, we Drake Usor. And we'll ride that to the Promised Land. So let's see if we get lucky here. Uh, we do not. So, I think taking out Squee is a mistake here so we'll gain a life and they're just gonna pay the ward to kill the raptor so let's go with throne pick dinosaur take they could pay the ward they could sack it so we're gonna take four here but then we get to Dracusaur, and then we're cleared hot to block. And we can also ossification if we want to. You got it, bud. No blocks, because we need that. But that's going to draw us four cards. And we do have access to burn down the house. Or Brotherhood's End, my bad. Brotherhood's End. So, are they going to play the other Squee here so we do not get the invasion trigger? Because we're not blocking with Throne. There's just no way we are. That's an automatic. So close, yet so far away. So, let's attack first. Because they want to try... Right? This thing only deals... Oh, are they going to try to double up? I see as soon as you press control, if you control a modified creature. Okay. Let's do that. That way, when they go to play the second one, we could sack it to protect our Dracosaur. Dracosaur. We'll go here. And we'll get a counter here. And once again, we could sack this. So we can block now freely. So we're going to block Squee here. That way they have to spend their mana. We will take three here. Fall to 11. It's a little scary. Do the block. Go down to 11. Technically 9 because of the Kami. Unless they're just relying on the... Alright. Let's see what we got here. We're going to hit a land for sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. Do we get another land? And that's... They've seen enough. Bear. Alright. Uh, yeah. This looks like what we want to be doing. Let's keep it. I like this one quite a bit. And our lines are cooperating as well. So that's a plus. Going up against a good old Golgari. No surprise there. We'll hold on to a Ganjo. And let's grab another red, I guess. Doesn't quite matter. And I think... I think we go ahead and play Raptor. I think we play... Do we think they have the board wipe? Is my question. We can ramp again. 
I think we go here. Pick dinosaur. And play our land. And now we can, if they untap, we can Gissa and go off. Sunfall, all right. Play a land, can't do anything. So I think we go Raptor here. Strong, strong play. So a little behind the time, unfortunately. Uh, one, two, three. All right, I guess we Stomper here. Good news is they only have two left. And we'll hold for Atraxa. They got their own Stomper. All right. Let's see if we're able to pop off with Gisath here or not. We can also Atali. Fortunately, we cannot. No surprise there. We'll go here so it guarantees us a play. And... One, two, three. No attacks because they can populate that. We want to keep our life total up. And then if they tap out, we Gisath. If they don't, then we Atali. All right. Solid, solid. Uh, No white. No white. So I think we Gisath here. The only thing they could do is make one dude. So I think that seems like the correct play. Though they haven't played an Atraxa. I wonder if we should have Atali to try to pop their Atraxa off the top. Right? That actually is a little interesting. Fortunately, we whiff. Bit of a bummer there. But if they play a Traxa now, we can pop. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man. Oh, that is awesome. That's all four of them, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's freaking epic, man. Oh, geez. All right, you got it, buddy. Oh, man, that's too funny. That is too funny. Oh, we at least <laughs> get rid of their creatures. Oh, man, that's funny. And we're going to plus here. Because there's a good chance we're going to plus Atali next turn. Or we just kill them. We'll see. Yeah, that would be the goal, right? To flip Atali and then plus to get first strike damage. Seems good. So, oh, okay. Now I get it. Their board wipe dot deck. Okay. So now it all makes sense. Go here. We'll hold the cycle. Make a blocker and send it back. That is hilarious. At least we do have answers. We do have answers. Let's go to blocks. Take our three and like it. Now all the board wipes make so much more sense now. Do, 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 do. Seems good. Start wrecking our day. Nice. Do, 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 do. So I don't think they have a tracks. So I think they really just went off of these two. Right. 
Guess we attack for a lonely two. Go here and send it back. Because I'm sure as soon as I play Ossification, they'll play Atraxa. They're missing their second black. We have to hold on to Boseju to get rid of the first one they play. And then we just lose to our own creatures, it looks like. Block, block. Thirty-eight, thirty-five. How have we? Huh. Interesting. Do, 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 do. So they have nothing but sorcery speed or removal. So though playing stuff off the top of their deck with the tali is not nearly as appealing now. The virtue seems good. There's their double black. And we will play dragon. And exile the stomper so we keep Emperor alive. Plus here, so if we get... Oh, look at them. And... Hmm. Yeah, now I, I, I want to try to keep our thing alive. Go here. So this is kind of interesting. Because we want to besage you the virtue, but I kind of like the idea of binding as well to draw some cards. Good game. Another beanstalk. They draw, they keep a full grip. Pretty sure they have another one at this point. Do, 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 do. There they go. So we'll see what we draw. Yep, apparently we can't beat board wipe dot deck. <laughs> it happens. Oh well, on to the next one. All right, this one seems reasonable. We have turn three stomper into turn four invasion to clear the way for our carnosaur. Let's uh, keep this one. I like this one quite a bit. And we got the roaming. Nice. I think we're still going to wait to play Invasion. Play Stomper on Curve. Set up our mana so it's nice. No sense in playing Invasion too early. Treasure map. So a bit of a brew. Maybe we can get some work with Brotherhood's End. That'd be nice. Oh, yeah. They are definitely going to be doing some drawing. So we're going to give him another turn before we pop it. Let's grab another red. And then we can go roaming. And then we have Giseth in hand. Okay. All right. Let's go here. Here. Pick dinosaur. One, two, three, four, five. We draw land, we can Carnosaur. If we don't, we can Invasion. Invasion plus uh, Brotherhood's End. Right? Get rid of some of this treasure and whatnot that they got going on. But I'm excited to see what the payoff is. Restoration. Okay. 
So not quite motivated to clear these out just yet, but maybe we do just to stop the... Oh yeah, all right, we're doing it now. I think now it's worth doing. Of course, we missed the land. So ossification, exalt target creature, planeswalker. So we can get rid of that, but we want to wait a turn, right? Unfortunately, because we want them to get whatever they're going to discard. So, and we can't Carnosaur. So let's just take a peek under the hood. See what they got going on. They're going to hold off. Ouch. Well, that's horrible across the board. So I guess we make one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we make the twilight cost too much. And then just swing for four. We get indestructible, so we like that. So let's see what they discard. Play this, he gets a little bit bigger. And now we make depopulate worse. They have to sack the treasure to do it. And they don't know we have this coming because this is an enchantment, so we're good there. They have nothing, so they won't discard. Okay. Alright, things are looking better. They're going to be a little ways off before this is relevant. All will be one. Roger that. And our turn. Missed the land. And now I don't think we can really afford not to clear this, even though I would like to. Destroy all artifacts and now swing. Because we still did not hit the land, unfortunately. All right, so let's see what they can play. One to our face. They flip that, but we'll be able to get rid of it. Of course, now is when we draw the land for Carnosaur. But I guess we could still go Ossification plus Roaming Throne. And then have a huge subsequent turn. Immediately drawing and discarding. <laughs> oh, thank you, deck. Thank you. Uh, giving them a counter. Shoot their face. I think we just attack here. Oops. No reason to do otherwise. They're blocking. We get a dude. Play another one. Dinosaur again. All right. some point we'll get to do the thing we've drawn one land right <clears throat> uh that works there we go play dinosaur again all right <clears throat> let's see if we can make something happen here one, two, three, four, five, six. So we at least get to Trumpeting Carnosaur, but we do not get to Gizath. Oh, and it has a sturdy blocker. Drawing for value. Ooh, that's a problem. Discarding the other all will be one. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven's not enough. Let's start off with the Carnosaur. Blow up 
block and sack the farm hand. What do we get here? Hulking Raptor and a Stomper. There we go. All right. Stomper's going to let us play Gisath next turn. So we have some options, my friends. We have some options. Thank goodness. Because I was getting a little worried and we actually get to hold on to our land as well. And then we are going to attack because why not? Well, it's going to block. Is it instant? No, it's not sorcery. All right. Still going to leave up the array because why not, right? They still have this sitting in the shadows, so we have to be careful. But we do know they have access to Sunfall. So the question is, do we fire off the Gisath or not? Right? I think we do, especially since we have two. We have the mana for it. Who knows? We can get lucky. Pop off, get there. All will be one. Not that we have counters going on. Minus here, but... That's unfortunate. All right, we're on the play, unfortunately, with our board wipe because we have the slower hand, but we got a good curve. Uh, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this one, and it could work out quite well for us. We'll see. Start off with the thicket. Throw the opponent off. Golgari. Okay. It means we have some options, right? Brother Den can do some work here. But they are going to have plenty of ways of getting rid of our throne. So we'll see how we play this out. Let's go here. And, man, we know the first thing we play is going to die. Our only hope... Oh, it won't matter because they killed the Dracosar. Hmm. What do we do? Um, I think I rushed that, but I, I don't want to run. No, thing is, I don't want to run the throne out there, right? Because then they would have had the two. Well, shoot, actually, it doesn't die to go for the throw. One, two, three, four, five, then six, maybe. I think now we play the throne. And then hope they just don't have the... It has to be exactly Edict. And they didn't leave it up last turn. Well, that's helpful. That's actually quite helpful. One, two, three, four, five. We can do that. And then white. So we're going to do Roaming Throne here. And then that way, next turn, they're going to play the Death Knight. And then we can Brotherhood's End plus Invasion. I think that's the correct play here. Let's see if what they had is Edict or not. It is. Fair enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I could have just done that for the information. I'm going to play the other one. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Alright, so let's start off. Because it definitely wanted to tap our white mana there. We still have double red. Take a peek under the hood. See what we're working with. Oh, that's awkward. That's really awkward, and I also don't want to take a ton of damage. That stinks, because that would have been really clean there. Go. Oh, we can go here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that works. So, please play Glissa. Oh my goodness. 
That's freaking awesome. Oh, man. And then they won't play Glissa now. Oh, man. That was such a great top deck. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Now we take a ton of damage. Oh, man. That's great. That is so good. Good game. <laughs> Let's see what we would have got. Oh, man. That's so good. Lynn, then the play, and then they just kill us with the attack. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Oh, man.